Russia just joined hands with Rafa. Palestine against Israel after latest attacks by Israel in Russia. This unexpected geopolitical alliance has sent shockwaves through the international community, adding a complex layer to the already intricate dynamics of the Middle East conflict. The recent developments have drawn the world's attention as nations and political leaders scramble to understand the implications of this new partnership. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The catalyst for this surprising alliance was a series of aggressive actions by Israel that directly impacted Russian interests. These actions, perceived as deliberate provocations, have escalated tensions between Israel and Russia. Moscow's decision to ally with Rafa, a key town in the Gaza Strip, signifies a dramatic shift in its foreign policy, indicating a more assertive stance in the Middle Eastern geopolitical theater. Russia's support for Rafa, and by extension Palestine, is seen as a direct challenge to Israel's actions and a call for broader international scrutiny of the ongoing conflict. The alliance between Russia and Rafa comes at a time when the Palestinian-Israeli conflict is at a critical juncture. The residents of Rafa have long been at the forefront of the Palestinian struggle, enduring numerous hardships and conflicts. Their alignment with Russia provides them with a powerful ally, potentially altering the balance of power in the region. For Russia, this partnership is a strategic move, aiming to expand its influence in the Middle East and counterbalance the United States' support for Israel. The immediate reactions from various global actors have been mixed. In the United States, there is concern that Russia's involvement could complicate its already strained relations with both Israel and Palestine. The U.S. has historically been a staunch supporter of Israel, and Russia's new stance might force a re-evaluation of its policies and alliances in the region. European nations, meanwhile, are urging for a diplomatic resolution, wary of any further escalation that could destabilize the region. In the Middle East, reactions are predictably polarized. Arab nations, particularly those that have historically supported the Palestinian cause, have welcomed Russia's involvement. They see it as a potential game-changer that could bring more international attention to Palestinian grievances and possibly pressure Israel into concessions. On the other hand, Israel and its closest allies view Russia's actions with suspicion and hostility. They fear that Russian support for Rafah could embolden Palestinian militant groups and lead to increased violence. The economic implications of this alliance are also significant. Russia, with its vast resources and geopolitical clout, can provide substantial economic aid to Rafah and the broader Palestinian territories. This support could help alleviate some of the severe economic hardships faced by Palestinians, particularly in Gaza, which has been under an Israeli blockade for years. For Russia, enhancing its economic ties with Palestine opens new avenues for trade and influence in the region, further challenging Western dominance. The humanitarian aspect of this alliance cannot be overlooked. Rafah, like much of Gaza, has been devastated by years of conflict. Russian aid could improve living conditions, provide essential supplies, and support rebuilding efforts. This humanitarian assistance is likely to win Russia significant goodwill among Palestinians and could help shift public opinion in the broader Arab world in favor of Moscow. On the ground in Rafah, the mood is cautiously optimistic. Many residents see this new alliance as a beacon of hope in an otherwise bleak situation. They hope that Russian support will bring tangible benefits and help mitigate some of the suffering caused by the ongoing conflict. However, there is also a sense of wariness, as the complexities of international alliances mean that outcomes are never guaranteed. In Israel, the response to the russia rafa alliance has been one of heightened alertness and strategic recalibration. Israeli military and intelligence services are closely monitoring the situation, wary of any changes that could affect their national security. The Israeli government has already begun diplomatic efforts to counter Russia's influence, seeking to strengthen its own alliances and secure additional support from its traditional allies. The involvement of Russia in the Palestinian-Israeli conflict adds a new dimension to the regional power dynamics. Historically, the Middle East has been a battleground for influence between global superpowers, and Russia's latest move is a clear indication of its intent to reclaim a significant role in this arena. This development could lead to a new era of Cold War-style politics in the region, with the U.S. and Russia supporting opposing sides in the conflict. For Palestine, especially the leadership in Rafah, this alliance represents both an opportunity and a challenge. 
The opportunity lies in the potential for increased support and visibility on the international stage. The challenge, however, is in navigating this new relationship without alienating other crucial supporters. Palestinian leaders must carefully balance their new alliance with Russia against their long-standing relationships with other Arab nations and their ongoing struggle for recognition and support from the broader international community. International organizations, including the United Nations, are likely to play a crucial role in mediating the impacts of this alliance. The UN has long been involved in efforts to resolve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and Russia's new position will undoubtedly affect these efforts. UN officials may need to adapt their strategies and approaches to account for Russia's influence and the changing dynamics on the ground. In terms of military implications, the russia rafa alliance could lead to a shift in the balance of power in the region. Russian military support for Rafah and potentially other Palestinian territories could alter the dynamics of the conflict, making it more difficult for Israel to maintain its strategic dominance. This could lead to an arms race in the region, with Israel seeking to bolster its defenses and military capabilities in response to the perceived threat from Russian-backed Palestinian forces. The media coverage of this development has been extensive and varied, reflecting the complexities and sensitivities of the issue. In Russia, state-controlled media has portrayed the alliance as a necessary and righteous stand against aggression, emphasizing Russia's role as a protector of the oppressed. In Israel, the media has focused on the potential threats and challenges posed by Russian involvement, highlighting the need for increased vigilance and international support. Public opinion in both Russia and Palestine seems to be largely supportive of the alliance. In Russia, there is a sense of national pride and a belief that their country is taking a stand against injustice. In Palestine, the support from a major global power is seen as a validation of their struggle and a potential turning point in their long fight for sovereignty and recognition. However, this new alliance also raises significant questions about the future of the peace process. The involvement of a powerful new player like Russia could either bring fresh momentum to peace talks or complicate them further. Much will depend on how Russia leverages its influence and whether it can act as a mediator or if it becomes another partisan force in the conflict. One of the critical factors in this evolving situation will be the response of the international community, particularly major powers like China and the European Union. China's reaction will be closely watched, given its own strategic interests in the region and its growing influence on the global stage. The European Union, which has traditionally played a mediating role in the conflict, will need to reassess its strategies and possibly find new ways to engage with both Russia and the conflicting parties. The business sector is also keeping a close eye on these developments. Companies with interests in the Middle East, particularly in sectors like energy, construction and technology, are evaluating the potential impacts of the russia rafa alliance. Increased instability could affect investments and operations, while new opportunities might arise from the shifting political landscape. Educational and cultural exchanges between Russia and Palestine could also see a boost from this new alliance. Increased cooperation in these areas might help foster better mutual understanding and build long-term relationships that go beyond political and military alliances. Russian universities might establish partnerships with Palestinian institutions, offering scholarships and exchange programs that could benefit students and academics from both sides. As the situation continues to evolve, it is clear that the russia rafa alliance has the potential to reshape the Middle Eastern geopolitical landscape in significant ways. The immediate effects are already being felt, but the long-term consequences will depend on how the various actors navigate this new reality. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, do you support Russia and Palestine joining hands against Israel? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.